And if I was a Nazi, then that would be really useful for all the radical leftists, because if you're a Nazi, as Douglas has already pointed out, we've already decided that you're a bad person. And if I was a bad person, then no one would have to listen to me. And so it was in the interests of the radicals who I was dis whose positions I was disputing to cast me as a Nazi. But it was also a reasonable cognitive maneuver because there was some possibility, although it's infinitesimal given the tiny proportion of actual Nazis in our society, that I would in fact be one and have gotten away with hiding that at two major universities for 25 years. And also...